The next movie is about how to use EPUB crawler. We'll be using EPUB crawler without making any changes to its configuration. In practice you will want to make changes to the configuration because the standard is uh, a best effort but it's not really what you want and you will need to make EPUB crawler do something that's as close to your own workflow as possible. But for now, just to see how EPUB crawler works, we'll just be using it as it is downloaded. So I have this little test document, it's only three pages with a few things in it, like two images on the first page. This first page we'll be using as the cover page. So and I just made two sizes of the same image just to see how that would go. And then if we look at page two and three, you can see I have a picture of the moon and the moon is actually cut in half by the spine. And I have some text in frames with different insets, so more and less inset and some uh, text that's actually threading from one frame to another. To run EPUB crawler on this and convert this into a fixed layout EPUB, all we need to do is bring up the scripts palette, so which is still under window utilities scripts. So I click that and then we go and find the EPUB crawler script, which is in our user EPUB crawler version number and then the epubcrawler.jsx bin file and all you need to do is double click that file so I just double click, tick tick so that's it, so epubcrawler is now running so there is no progress bar in these versions so that will be in uh, future versions I'll actually have some progress indicator but for now you just need to look at the cursor and if I now switch to my desktop so look at the name of the file, the file is called testfile.indd and it's also sitting here, testfile.indd and I have this folder called testfile so EPUB crawler created that folder now to prove you that uh, that is actually true and that folder was not there before I'll be running EPUB crawler a few more times so all I do is I switch back to the InDesign document and I rerun EPUB crawler, crawler a second time so tick tick, double click and once it's done I switch back to the finder and you see now I have two folders one is called test file the other one is called test file underscore one this is how EPUB crawler works so each time you run it it will create a new EPUB folder and that folder's name will be based on the name of the file of the InDesign file but it will app append an underscore and a number if the folder were already to exist so it will not overwrite an existing EPUB folder because you might already have been making manual changes to that folder that you might not want to lose so to find the absolutely latest run uh, of EPUB crawler you just look at the highest number behind the folder name so if I run it a second time or sorry a third time double click that and then go back to the finder uh, see now we have a test file underscore 2 and so on and so on now to see what EPUB crawler has been doing we'll just dig into that EPUB folder and you see there are some XHTML files there so these XHTML files have been created by EPUB crawler and if you open them in a browser or a uh, tool for uh, editing um, uh, HTML files, so I'll just double click them, nah that's not what I wanted, I want to open it in Safari, open it with Safari then you get to see that this actually looks pretty much like uh, the original InDesign layout, so I'll put the InDesign layout next to it, so pages, page 1 see like the background, the web layout, in the foreground, the InDesign layout so if I just open up page 2 with Safari see I get the moon cut in half I get the test uh, text, the text with the inserts and so on so the styling is different that's a whole different uh, can of beans is how to do the styling but if you look at the InDesign file it's actually fairly accurate see like the moon being cut in half and the text is all there so EPUB crawler uh, right out of the box does a fairly good job of uh, converting your InDesign file to an EPUB now it's not an EPUB yet it's only an EPUB folder so to take the next step and actually make it into an EPUB file 
you can use that ecan crusher tool that we installed in the first movie and all I do is I just drag and drop the epub folder in this case test file underscore 2 and now I end up with a test file underscore 2 epub which is the epub that we just created